Strong Man 23 here, and I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Guys, we're going to take a look at set 70804, the ice cream machine. Now, I'm going to tell you, I've got the ice cream truck built right here. We're going to take a look at the ice cream machine in a second. This is actually a two in one set. This is from the Lego movie. Uh, let me see if I can get you a picture of the box in just a second. This set was released to go along with the movie, Obvious. You know, sometimes they call me Captain Obvious. And I really like this set, guys. I love this ice cream truck. Not too crazy about the ice cream machine. I mean, it is a pretty neat build. I enjoyed building it. We'll talk about it in a few minutes. But I just really like this truck. I mean, this truck go, will go great in your city. Love it. So this one comes with three books. You get one book, which will show you how to build the minifigures. And uh, I guess that's, what is that called, guys? Help me out. Is that a micromanager? I think those are called micromanager. I don't really care for them. I built it. We'll look, look at it. And then I'm going to take it apart. I have no use for them. But anyway, you get then you get the second book. Shows you how to build the ice cream machine, which is actually the main build of the set. But I'm not crazy about that one either. I do like it, don't get me wrong, but I'm going to keep this thing intact as an ice cream truck, which is the third book you get. So let's take a look at this one, guys. All right, guys, so here are the three figs you get. You get Cardio Carrie, and Cardio Carrie has just finished her workout. You see she's got her iPod there with her headphones on. But she just finished her workout, and she's headed to the ice cream truck. Then you get the two ice cream workers. You get Ice Cream Mike and Ice Cream Joe. And I'll tell you guys, I really love these figs. I love those ice cream outfits. I love the aprons. You see the her apron is one that's halfway, and his apron is a full apron. It's actually a little backwards probably because uh, men would probably wear this apron and women would probably wear that apron. But it doesn't matter. I really love these figs. I mean, that is, that is great, great torsos goes along with the legs love those two ice cream guys love the ice cream hat but look at that back printing that's basically just tying the aprons up um, I think she may have yeah she has back she has a back facial print uh, does she nope she's the only one that's got back printing so that's it for the figs guys like I tell you I really love these two ice cream guys so let's take a look at the micromanager alright guys so here is the micromanager and like I said not too not too impressed with these things. You get a different one in every movie set. This one does have a neat feature though. It has, uh, you load this up right here. This is a bunch of flick fire missiles. And you load them up in there and then you can just, see if you can watch them. You just kind of fire them and then it drops down, you fire the next one, it drops down, you fire the next one. And it's got this little hitch here so you can pull it up and then you can reload it. So it's supposed to be a little flying robot, little micromanager. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. Um, I don't know. You tell me. You like these things? I don't really care for them. I really have no use for them, but they are part part of the set. And this little reloadable, I don't know what you want to call this deal. Look, reloadable clip for these flick fire missiles. That's a pretty neat little touch. So anyway. That's all for the micromanager, so now let's take a look at the truck. Alright guys, so here is the ice cream truck. Like I told you, this is actually the alternate build. This is a two-in-one set. Let me give you a quick look at the box. If I can get it all in. Let me back this camera up. And as you can see, see right there, it is a two-in-one. Kind of like a creator set. But in my opinion, the ice cream truck is better than the ice cream machine. So... You look at it, I mean, it's just classic. The only thing this thing is missing is a sliding glass door so you could close it up. But it's got a light little countertop on each side. These are all sticker pieces. So you got the stickers with the menu. You got the ice cream sticker, the Octane sticker because everything is owned by Octane. On the front, you've got the hood. And, and you know, I talk about in a lot of my reviews, this is how I think all the vehicles should be built with the windshield right over the hood scoop. A lot of the ones I've been reviewing, the windshield is actually back behind that hood and it's exposing the studs. This is the look that I like. It's got the rear view mirrors on it. 
that is a sticker too by the way the other side is exactly the same it's got the menu the octane the ice cream sticker it's got the ice cream cones up here for advertising you take a look at the back and you can see into it that's the back of the ice cream machines it has no tail lights except for that red right there it's got the you know I don't know if those are supposed to be lights or just decorations just accents but I really like this thing it's got this the uh, big speakers up here blowing out the ice cream music as it comes on the street you know it's coming and this thing is it's fully loaded so we can take off the top comes off pretty easy just like that and if we look inside see the driver gets in there there's a little freezer with some popsicles in it and then in the back here you got two ice cream machines so you got soft serve ice cream I guess whatever flavors you want I mean it advertises a bunch of flavors so you just use your imagination now I will tell you you know when you look at these sets you always look at the practical use in it you know it's kinda there's really no way for the driver to get to the back of the back of the truck but it is what it is sometimes you just have to make do with your imagination but I really like this truck guys I like to love the colors I mean that's kind of like a Baskin and Robbins pink love that color theme a little lime accent on there I mean this is a really sharp looking truck so I think I've said enough about the truck tell me what you think Do you like the truck you prefer the ice cream machine let's take a look at that one alright guys so here is the ice cream machine this is actually the build one you might think this is the alternate build but it's not this is the actual build number one because I don't know this is what's on the box it's called the ice cream machine so let's take a look at it I gotta tell you this is actually a lot better than I thought it was gonna be I enjoyed building this it's kind of I mean this is really the spirit of Lego if you was to take a set if you was to take an ice cream truck and take it apart and put all its its pieces in a box and say build me a spaceship or build me a plane or build me a ship and you came up with this this is a really good creation so if we just take a look at it it uses the wheels I guess you know I guess that helps it flies maybe that's supposed to be the engines it's got the uh, the hoses right here it's got the ice cream cannons got lime and blue raspberry maybe if you look at this side it's got flick fire popsicles got ice cream cone shooters on either end and then you can see it's got room for passengers up here in the front actually there's the ice cream cooler right there it's got the ice cream sign the window it's her little cockpit where she can drive the ship <clears throat> I guess this would be speaker so everybody can hear her coming I mean, it's really pretty neat it's a neat little build for a spaceship I tell you I, I didn't think I was gonna like it but I do I actually like the way it turned out it's a pretty neat ship I mean if, if if I gave you all the pieces to the ice cream machine or the I should say to the ice cream truck and asked you to build me a ship and you came up with this it's pretty impressive really neat so we we'll just do another 360 for you so you can see everything on it Got the big ice cream cone on top, turned backwards to be like a cannon. So tell me what you think, guys. You like this? You like this version? I personally don't see much use of it. I mean, I'm I'm gonna keep it as an ice cream truck. If I ever get a Lego City, it'll be a, it's it's great. I mean, it's a great ice cream truck. So that's all for the ship for the ice cream machine. All right, guys. So for final thoughts for this set, I really like this set. This is this set retailed for $29.99. Um, I think you could probably. We're in October 2014. It's been out for probably six, eight months. You might be able to get it for $24.99. It has 344 pieces, and I mean, at $29.99, it's really a good value. You get 344 pieces and three minifigs. So at $30, it's a great value. But like I said, right now you might be able to find it for $25. You might even find it cheaper than that if you shop around. It, it's I would definitely add this one to the collection at regular price. 
I really like this truck, guys. Tell me what you think. Is this ice cream truck going to find its way to your Lego city? I really think it should. So, like I said, I like this video. So please hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. You can check out all of my playlists, guys. I've got a bunch of set reviews. I've got train videos. I've got hauls. Got a lot going on, guys. Make sure you check them all out. You could follow me on Instagram at Mardi Gras Man 23. You can check out my Bricklink store at Mardi Gras Bricks. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.